In this video, we're going to cover off if we thought KL Tower in Kuala Lumpur was worth it, but also make sure to watch to the very end as I cover off why it may not be worth it for everyone. If you're discovering us for the first time, we're a digital nomad family having all kinds of adventures in Southeast Asia. And if you want to catch more videos on traveling as a family, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. So, you've just arrived in KL or you've been in KL for a bit and you keep looking at this big old tower jutting out through the KL CC skyline. Well, I assume if you're watching this, you're probably deciding whether arguably one of the best views in Southeast Asia is worth the hefty price tag that they're asking. So for context, we are a family of four, two adults and two children, and our children are six and eight years old. And we went to the KL Tower on a Sunday and we bought the Sky Deck and Skybox combo tickets. So was the visit to KL Tower worth it? For us, I would say it was, mainly because we're in KL for a month, so we had time to stand around. But when we were up there, we did notice a lot of unhappy people with the experience. And I think I know why that is. Let me paint the picture for you. You wait in line at the base of the tower for one of two super high speed elevators, which zip you up to the sky deck level, where you're greeted with an overwhelmingly awesome view of Kuala Lumpur, and lots of people admiring the same view. So we're up here. It took like 30, 40 seconds to get up here. Um, but how is that for you? Definitely worth the price of admission, even though it's hot and it's busy. Um, you know, we booked the tower and the, and the uh, skybox. Uh, we'll be here for an hour or so waiting for that. So just make sure you're aware of that. And I'd also bring some sunscreen if I was you, just because it is pretty hot up here. Once our number was finally called, it all went from zero to 100 miles an hour really quick. We headed into Skybox B and the guard in the box asked us to take off our shoes and head onto the glass. And before we were even ready to get into the Skybox, he had started the clock on our time and we literally had 90 seconds. So we hurried out onto the glass and everything became a bit of a blur as we rushed the experience. The initial step onto the sky deck and the first few laps of it, trust me when I say there's nothing quite like those first couple of steps onto the sky deck and those first few laps you do. You're in absolute awe of the KL skyline and it's probably one of the best parts of the KL tower experience. And after those first few laps, this is the part where it becomes a lot less amazing. When you get to the sky deck, your group is given a ticket with a number, kind of like waiting in line at a deli. Hello. What you doing? Still waiting? Just waiting, wait, just looking at the view. You wait your turn on the sky deck until your number is called. And there are two sky boxes on the sky deck. You have A and B, and you get a number for both of them. Now, the problem with the system that they have is you have no idea how long you're going to have to wait until it's your turn to get into the skybox. In our case, that was over an hour. And I think if I knew that on the ground floor before I bought my tickets, we would have ended up not buying those tickets. Even though we really, really, really enjoyed the sky deck view of the city, after about 10 minutes of looking at it, we ended up just sitting down and waiting, kind of like everyone else. Also, because of the limited seating up in the sky deck relative to the amount of people up there, and because there's no shade up there, it got really, really hot. Woohoo! That's the closest thing to being in a sauna in the sky. It's like a glass house. You could grow vegetables in that. That was incredibly hot. So if you're gonna go, make sure to take some water with you. There was hardly any time to get comfortable walking on the glass, to enjoy the view, to get cool snaps, or to figure out what we were even looking at. And before we knew it, we were hastily ushered out of the box and it was all over. Luckily, 10 minutes later, we had our 90 seconds in Skybox A and we were much better prepared. So in short, we waited almost an hour and a half for about three minutes of a super stressful, but absolutely amazing once in a lifetime experience. I really want to stress this. Once we got into the skyboxes themselves, it was really an awesome and surreal experience, which really made it worth it for us. But if I'm honest, I think the moment was overshadowed a little bit by the crowds, the heat, the hours of waiting, and then the mad rush when it was your turn. And this is why I think it may not be worth it for a lot of families. There was several families up there who ended up just leaving before there were a lot of time in the skybox because either their patients wore super thin with the combination of the crowds and the waiting around, or their kids were super bored and complaining. And I think if you were just to look at the view by itself and not the experience of the skybox, it's definitely not worth the 350 ringgit it costs a family of four to get up there. 
and you might be better off going to the observation deck, which is much cheaper and indoors. And I just think ultimately, if I was here in KL for a holiday for a week or two, I would give it a miss unless you really planned ahead and you got there during the week, in the morning or the evening. Because from our personal experience on the weekend, for the 15 solid minutes of super amazing experiences, you'll spend half a day waiting around. And to be honest, there are better ways to spend half a day for the price if you're short on time here in KL. So that's it. Hopefully this video helped you decide whether you wanna go check out the KL Tower. And if you're still on the fence and you want a full recap of our day, you can see that in this video here. Also, please, if you feel like I missed anything or you want to share your personal experience, make sure to leave it in the comments below because it will really help others out there. So I'm Jimmy. I'm Liam. I'm Riley. I'm Pauline. And we'll catch you all on, on the, the horizon. horizon.